All right, so I'm just gonna make a quick update on the Bitcoin price. I'm gonna make it a quick one because really not too much has happened. I've, we can see that we've had a bounce here, about 15% bounce in a day. So not the worst, um, we've made a new low. So I'm gonna to have to move this Fib down to this low here as that's invalidated. Uh, the 61.8, um, we've just broken above it, so it does look bullish in the micro term. But I do also just want to point out that we do have some heavy overhead resistance coming in at the 38,800 level, 38 to 39,000 level. Uh, another thing, if we come over to the Bitcoin CME, you can see that we filled the CME gap at 31,000 today, so that is looking bullish. We do have another CME gap um, on the weekly down here at 24,750, and I think we have. Mm, oh no, this this one was filled. Uh, oh no, no, it wasn't. So we actually have another CME gap down here. I'm definitely not saying that we're ever going to come down to here because I, I really, I, I really don't think that we would go down to 18,000, but it is a possibility. So you do have to keep that in mind. So we have filled uh, this CME gap here. So we can remove that from our chart. The next CME gap is all the way down here. Let's find out about how far away it is take a price chart you can see it's about another 33 percent dump so it isn't off the table if we zoom out on the daily chart on btc uh, like i said before we are running into this resistance here we are running into resistance up here so this is technically still a higher low so until we get above i'd say 43 thousand until we get above 43,000, I can't be bullish in the short term or the long term. Well, no, I, sorry, I, I'm always bullish in the long term. I can't be bullish in the short to mid term. Uh, if we come over to the SPY, you can see that we're still below the 200 day moving average. So uh, we're very likely to put in some chop or a pattern like this if we don't immediately go above it. I either see two things here. I'm going to remove this from the 200 day uh, moving average for a second. I'm going to move it over to the 200 weekly. You can see that we have an absolute drop down to go if we were to fall all the way down to the 200 week moving average. And if I zoom back, you can see that we have done this before. Uh, we've bounced off it multiple times, so it's completely not out of the take uh, out of the question. Looking at the SPY, I mean, I don't see anyone talking about this, but in my opinion, from the bottom of where we are now, I, I do believe the SPY is overpriced and we've got a lot of bearish news coming in. Um, got news about Russia, talking about wars, uh, the Fed meeting tomorrow, talking about interest rates and inflation. So all in all, nothing has really changed. I mean, I see this as a dead cat bounce, unfortunately. Now, I could be wrong. Uh, we could get above here. And if we do get above here and hold this as support and go off, then uh, I do see Bitcoin um, turning around and making a massive reversal from here. But just looking at this objectively right now, I can honestly say nothing has changed since the last few videos we've done. We have made uh, a new low down here. And yeah, we're, we're still not above these trend lines. So there's not really anything else to say. The dollar hasn't done anything. The Nasdaq's still looking bearish. The Nasdaq's actually looking worse than the SPY. They all kind of follow each other, so they're all pretty much the same thing. But yeah, so that is that. And then obviously we filled the, the CME gap over here at 36,700 today uh, from down here previously where we had the CME gap. The next CME gap is obviously down at 24,750 I, I really don't see us coming down that far but it doesn't matter what I think I guess if uh if the SPY doesn't get above here in the next couple of weekly candles then I think it's going to be a bear market so obviously we're going to have to wait and see uh what happens uh with this trend line on the 200 day moving average the same for bitcoin because we are below all of our moving averages and trend lines so yeah that's the video. Thanks for coming back. Um, yeah, once again, none of this is financial advice. Bye.